Colonel George E. Day has a lot to be remembered for. He was a true American patriot and hero, a Medal of Honor recipient. But for those that knew him and loved him, they simply called him Bud and remember him as a man with a zest for life and a true fighting spirit. We have lost a role model. I've lost a role model. And uh, so the, I feel a bit of a debt to kind of pass that on to others. Says retired Chief Master Sergeant Brendan Burchard, the Sioux City, Iowa native celebrating the life of his hometown hero. But to the thousands in attendance at Thursday's funeral service, Colonel Bud Day belongs to the hearts of all Americans, from Iowa cornfields to the shores of Okaloosa Island. He had such great humility. Uh, all the things, the, the core values of the Air Force, he, he had them all. And the world took notice. The Congressional Medal of Honor recipient also bestowed an Air Force Cross and 70 other medals and awards for his 35 years of meritorious service and three American wars, including the Vietnam War, where he found himself in a POW camp with a young naval aviator named John McCain. The Bud and Morris wouldn't let me die. They bathed me, fed me. <laughs> fed me, nursed me, encouraged me, and ordered me back to life. Now senator and former presidential candidate, McCain reflected on Bud's idea of heaven, an Iowa cornfield on a cold winter morning. I will miss Bud every day for the rest of my life, but I will see him again. I know I will. I'll hunt the field with him, and I'll look forward to it. <laughs> Colonel Day is being laid to rest at Barrancas National Cemetery in Pensacola. Additional services will be held in his hometown of Sioux City, Iowa this Saturday. Reporting from Okaloosa Island, Addie Hampton, News 13.